Wolf Clock Productions, Wolf Clock, you know what it, you, you know who I am. So, um, I was working on the new beta fight. I was getting a little bit of footage that uh, I didn't record already. And I'm in the 2001, or rather the uh, early 2001 version of Air Exchange right now. So one of the issues with Air Exchange is that it's very non-linear, and there's a whole bunch of different branching paths, and yada yada. But I'm realizing now, what if that's not actually the case? What if we were just looking at wrong? So the thing about this version of the map, um, when it came out with the 2001 map pack, um, everything that has dev textures on them are things that were added in by Vitoy. Like, these are things that aren't in the map by default. They're just, like, inference, you know? And I've realized, you know, what if Vitoy was wrong? Because so far, let me get back to the start of the level here. Um, it's over here is where you start from the previous level. And you go up, you go up, you go around, you have to fight a whole bunch of people. Go down here, go around over here. Down here. Down all the way over here. And then over here. And that's the progression of the level. Um, is you're trying to get from this starting point over here over to this doorway. And that's where things open up. See, because I'm out here now, and there's this section which is uh, modified from... Get this asshole over here out of here. Hold on. Okay, fine, he gets to live. This section over here, which is modified from a section that's in the later version, but there's also this section over here. And it's like, oh, there are two ways to go. But what if we're wrong? What if there aren't two ways to go? What if this spot right here is supposed to have a fence? And this spot over here is supposed to be closed off one way or another. So what I tried was I said, okay, let's assume that that's the case. And we go this way. Go down here. Open this. Tank comes out. Kill the tank. Kill the tank. Go down here. You open up this pathway. Right? Open up this pathway. See, there's more dev brushes over here. Because I guess the spot was cut out um, in the map file itself. Which could open up a whole other thing, but let's not talk about that. What's important here is you go this way, you see, oh, there's a uh, thing through here. Shoot that, opens the door up. Climb through the middle. Press the button. Go up to the top. This door's open. There's a stalker that shows up to greet you. These don't do anything. Kill a stalker, and look at this, suddenly we're on the other side here. So what if this spot was not accessible? And I think that's probably how it must have been. If we're assuming that this was like a functional level at some point. That must be how it was. So I'm looking over here. And there's more stuff, right? Because over here we've got what's used in the later version. You get up here, get on top over here. Uh, on top here, jump over here, get over here, go through this. What if this is wrong as well? Yeah. Because this is the interior of a building. And this is a very over-convoluted way to get to the interior of the building. What if this way is the way to go instead? Yeah? Or what if this is like the end of the level? So, let's assume... That, that's either the way that we're supposed to go, or that's the end of the level, and not the um, tower. Let's say, go the regular route. But then we get into here, we diverge into this building. There's a little combat scenario, so of course there was this is probably a way to go. It wouldn't have had a combat scenario unless there was additional gameplay here. And look at the shape of this. 
And maybe this is just because it's the other side of a, uh, an uneven wall, but, like, maybe this could have been, like, a doorway that leads to here, you know? And that's why this whole building exists in the first place. And obviously, there's still inaccuracies here, because this floating wall, why is that there? It wouldn't be there. Uh, a lot of the stuff that's in here is just lots of weird, inaccurate things. But point being, we come down here, you know, maybe there's another fence, like, right about here. Because, like, in the final version, there's, or in the later version, there's a fence right here as well. So what if we go down here instead? This brings us to this section. That's from Erex 05, I believe. And then we go across. Go over here. And we're in the Erex 05 underground section now. You know, the underground tunnel. So, what I'm trying to put forward here is maybe we've had the look, like the, the way that we're thinking about it's all wrong the entire time. But, uh, that's, that's pretty much all I've got. Thank you all for watching. Uh, new beta fight out Halloween, so goodbye.